My car has been boosted for a long time. It has seen lots of abuse. And it's still here with us on the stock motor. for a long time it has seen lots of abuse and it's still here with us on the stock motor so the motor for those of you guys that don't know is completely stock completely stock motor stock bottom head stock everything literally it's a vq35 hr which are the motors that come in the 07 and 08 350z's this car is currently tuned on 485 uh, the last dyno sesh i had it made 5.45, but I ended up turning it up a little bit on the street. It makes about 5.50 or a little bit more, which is really good, dude, for this light of a car. It's pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. And pretty impressive for it to be a stock motor, to be honest. It's also a completely stock transmission. The only thing that's done to it is the, uh, it has a State Street clutch. It's an action uh, State Street clutch. Other than that, stock flywheel, stock trad, everything is pretty much stock there as well. All this car pretty much has, besides all the cosmetics, is literally a custom turbo kit and the fuel system. Uh, but I'll talk more about it once I get to the spot. I'm going to like a parking garage. I'll, I usually film up there, but it's kind of windy and I don't want to risk the, uh, the wind noise. So I'm going to go to a parking garage. It's kind of near me. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Having a pretty good day myself. Ooh, so is that a, it's a three series. What is it? Nice. He saw the GoPro, he's like, what the f are you wearing, bro? That's one way to catch up to speed, right? <laughs> right into the homie sheesh! Q boys! Got your rug, got your rug. Let's do it! <laughs> right into the homie in the queue. He said, drive it. So I can convince you to keep yours. So let's see, my first time driving a 3.0. This thing was so much better too, bro. First time, bro. But if you put all the windows down, bro, you can hear it way more. It sounds better. For sure. My car has the windows down, so it doesn't get stolen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. That's that's what a lot of people are telling me. The 3.0s came with more issues. But, like I said, for the for the deal I got on this, for the car with the same mileage, it would have been the same cost as this. How much was it? Uh, this one came out to 30 out the door. Oh yeah, that's pretty much almost what I paid for mine. All right, guys, we made it into the parking garage. And now, let's talk about my experience with this boosted 350Z. So let's start off with the basics. So for those of you guys that don't know, this 350Z is rear mount turboed. There is a turbo in the rear of the car next to the exhaust. There is a Tomei and there's a turbo that's connected to it. 
So the turbo that I'm running is a Borg Warner S366. Like I said, the car does make around 550, 560 wheel horsepower. On the dyno, it made like 470 foot-pounds of torque. So like I said, the car is pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. And my 10,000 miles being boosted, I've done at least like a thousand pulls. I'm not gonna lie, I've done a lot of pulls, I've done a lot of races. And the car, like I said, is still here with us. Well, not the car, the motor. I'm actually making this video because a homie of mine uh, pointed this out the other day that he couldn't believe that the car was still running. Now, honestly, when I started thinking about it, I agreed with him. When I initially boosted this car, I thought it was gonna blow up like pretty soon, or at least not last this long. Because obviously this motor is not meant to be boosted, but it's handling the boost very, very well. I don't want to jinx anything, but so far, so good, bro. So like I said, the car is tuned on E85. It is running 1,000 cc injectors paired with a 450 wall world fuel pump. So the car is actually tuned by the homie over at E-Class Tunes. Now that we're talking about tuners, that dude gets a lot of hate, bro. Like he, I guess there's like rumors or like a lot of people say that he blows up cars. First of all, every single tuner has blown up a car before. I don't care who you are. You've probably blown up a car before. Nobody's perfect. But I'm the prime example that that dude actually gets down, bro. Cause the car, like I said, has hella miles boosted, hella races in it, hella pulls in it. And the car is still here. The motor is still good. Besides my car, the homie Eric just sold a Z, a DE that had like 205,000 miles. I think it was like 50,000 miles in since he tuned it with him. And the car was still running flawlessly, bro. Besides the trans, but the motor was still perfect. But I feel like he has a lot to do with why the car is still running pretty good. With that being said, I feel like if you guys want to boost your VQ or boost any car in general, as long as you get a good tune and good supporting mods, you should be fine. Because I know there is some of you guys that want to boost your VQs. Because I get DMs all the time like, hey, is it worth it? Is it reliable? Can I still daily drive it? Of course, you could def I could definitely daily drive this car if I wanted to, but I just choose not to. It is reliable for the most part. I've had had a couple problems though. Some of the problems that I ha have had personally with this car since it was boosted, one of my scavenge oil scavenge pumps actually went out on me. So obviously without that pump, I wasn't able to drive the car, but no biggie. It was just a part problem. So I just swapped it out, put a new one back in and I was good. Besides that, uh, my fuel pump did go out once while I was driving. Thankfully, I was like two minutes away from home. So I just pushed it home. It was literally crazy, bro. Uh, I called my homie Chris and my dad. They both pulled up. They helped me push it home. And yeah, we got it home. Didn't need a tow. <laughs> but other than that, the car has never left me stranded. Never gave me any type of problems. I actually drove it like 400 miles last weekend with no issues, bro. Straight abusing it. Well, now that I'm talking about this, sometimes I don't believe it. Like, it's crazy how reliable this car has been. Like not even my Q50 bro, my Q50 giving me more problems than this car. But that's pretty much my experience being boosted in this car. I still plan on turning it up a little bit more before I uh, build the motor. This still has room for a little bit more power. And at that point I'm going to be risking it so... Uh, maybe it'll blow then. Hopefully it doesn't blow at all but... I am going to get some map sensors and turn it up a little bit more. But before that I am looking for a drag radio for the back before I do that because it already spins as it is so... There's no point in throwing more power at it at the moment. Damn, she looks so mean in this lighting. But yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. It's pretty cold.
I took off the third gear too. 